welcome to another Swift 3D version 6 tutorial. In this one we're going to be discussing materials, how to apply them, and how to get the best use out of them. Now what you can do is, so what we'll do is we'll add an item to the viewport. Now once that item's there, let's get the axial up to 64 and the radial up to 64 for the best mesh quality. And now we can go to, we have bitmap, flat, let's move this over a bit glossy, reflective, texture, transparent. So I'm going to go to reflective and let's go ahead and put a gold on it. Alright, that looks good to me. Now a lot of people, they just stop right there and don't go any further, don't investigate anymore what the cool features are here. So let's go to material, let's double click this, and I'm going to show you how to add a bump map which is a new feature which allows bumpy textures to be displayed on the objects that you want and you can use your own bitmap images and here I have a bunch of bitmaps that I use for various different things but uh, let's go to this circuit board right there let's bring the bump strength all the way up press OK you can even generate preview and it'll show you what it'll do there press OK and there we go let's back that off a little bit rotate it around take a look at it that's pretty cool and let's go ahead and tilt it just a little bit so you can really see the effect now I'm gonna go to preview and export remember when you export these items the background that gray background isn't there that's just the environment Let's go to raster, generate selected frames. So you can see what it's done. It it gives it that texture comes out bumpy in the render. Let's go to back to the scene editor. Let's just spin it around. There we go. Now let's render that out. And now let's press play you can really see how the bump map takes effect there and it gives an impression that it has a nice bumpy surface okay so let's go back into the scene editor let's grab that press control X get it off there alright I'll show you one more little example working with custom materials let's grab the cube pop it on to the view pane and let's bring the height down I'm gonna make a floor out of it something like that click down a few times now let's go to material double click it let's go here to procedural color and texture go to bitmap image and there I'm gonna go and find this gray carpet brightness you can adjust right there I don't want it too bright and I'm also going to go to bitmap image on the bump map to make it a little bumpy let's use the gray carpet again actually uh, let's use this one bring the bump map all the way up generate preview okay okay so now you can see what we have there it's a carpeted floor. Now let's grab another cube and let's mess with the size of the box. So let's say this was a wall. Let's put that into place. Right show. And let's make one more box. Let's give it the depth way down. and let's grab it over here and move that into place okay so let's say you are making like a shadow box or a room environment and let's here let's go into the model libraries and grab the little chair they have by default in there you see that's my martini glass right right there that I made earlier file right there save model when I got done working on my model when I made that martini glass I went to save model and it lets you 
establish where you want to put it in the 3D category, extrusion or extrusion or lathe. I put mine in the lathe category and I was able to save it just by going to file save model. You can do that with lighting and animations as well. Save them so once you create things that are complex you can just use them again so you don't have to go and recreate them. Not that that martini glass was complex but if I ever need a martini glass boom it's ready to go and I can further edit it. So now let's go into the materials again. Let's grab the let's go into bitmap or maybe texture. Let's just take the brick wall. Oh yeah, I wanted to put the but you can get stucco and all kind of your custom bitmaps the way I showed you with the material editor double click that and you grab in your own bring in your own bitmaps now what was I gonna do I was gonna go to the model library and bring out that chair Let's see 3d there's all kind of cool models in here yeah let's grab that TV yes I'd like you to fit the contents there we go giant TV let's scale that bad boy down let's make it 0.5 5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. There we go. Let's put it down on the floor. And let's rotate it just a bit using this direction right there. Okie dokie. So now let's go into preview and export. Generate frame. So you see there, that's pretty darn cool, I think. So it's easy to set up your materials to look, to make things look any way you need to, really. And that's pretty much the gist of materials. There's a little bit more to it, but you can experiment on your own, dig around with all the settings and everything. Let's get in a little closer on that, down to the floor. Preview export. There we go. And it's beautiful. It doesn't get any easier than that. And usually you wouldn't have a brick wall on the inside of your home, but you can see what I'm getting at. You can just put stucco there or wood, whatever you want. So that's pretty much the gist of materials and how that works.